Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. I want to try the Emma Chamberlain smoothie. Is that a ween? I literally like, is that a ween? <gasps> oh my god, it is burning. Oh my god, I want it. No, no. Hey guys, I love this. Are we sunbathing? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We're back home. I am so excited because I am finally home. I feel like I've been traveling a lot. I've been so excited to do that, but I am such a homebody and I'm just so excited to be home for a considerable amount of time. On the flight back from Italy, I was trying to think of how much I've been traveling and I was like, it's really been nonstop. Like January, we went to Aspen. Then I went to New York, then Vegas, then Hawaii, Coachella, then pretty much went directly to Tokyo. Right when I got back from Tokyo, went to Italy for a wedding, came back for a week, and then got freaking invited on the NARS Italy brand trip. So I went back to Italy. Like my passport hasn't had this much action in a long time. So it's been insane. I can't believe it's almost July already. The year has flown by for me. And honestly, I wouldn't trade anything. I'm so grateful that I'm able to travel. I remember growing up, like not thinking I would ever be able to. And it's crazy. I will say, maybe it's me getting older. Yo, like <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I feel like I'm still recovering from the jet lag from Tokyo. So as much as I've loved traveling, honestly, I'm so blessed to be able to do that. The homebody person in me, she is very happy to just enjoy. Also the weather here in LA has been absolute shit. It's been so cloudy every single day. So if you see a lot of influencers or just people who live here talking about the weather, it's because finally we are having good weather and it's finally feeling like summer. Is it only noon and I'm already having my Celsius? Yes. All right, update on Alicia's fitness journey. We're starting off strong. <laughs> I think it's day three and I've only been to the gym once. Love that. It's not that we're trying to lose a substantial amount of weight or anything. We're just trying to get it tight and toned. Again, obviously we've been traveling a lot and I've, I think I've done a really good job with balance this year of like not being, like enjoying myself. You know, if I'm in Tokyo, I'm gonna eat bomb food. Like, duh. If I'm in Italy, I'm gonna eat the pizza and I've definitely put on a few pounds as one should when they go on vacation. But the problem is I've been on vacation for six months. So it's all about balance. And I'm honestly really proud of myself. I feel like I've come a long way that way because before I really would have beaten myself up over it or like I would get back and be like, oh my God, I've gained so much weight, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I'm proud of myself. It's the baby little steps. I feel like little things like that used to really get me upset. And I'm like, no, I had the best time. I was with my friends and we were living it, it up. And now's the time when we just get a little toned, you know? Walk, <laughs> eat healthy. <laughs> so we're having our Celsius, gonna go to the gym or I might work out here. I also finally got the spray paint and stuff that I told you guys that was coming. I'm so excited. But I was talking all about my DIY haul and hardly any of the DIY stuff came. So I kind of want to paint today cause I have a few hours where I don't have too much to do, but we got this pink one and a white one. This is a mess, please don't mind it. I am gonna change this, but we just put this here for now. But I painted this canvas like a while ago and it, I never finished it. So I kind of want to play on this one. I want to like, I don't know. I want to learn how to like do like graffiti art and shit. I feel like it'll look really cool. So I want to do that today. And then I also have those like thick graffiti markers that I got. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. But you know, we're, we're artistic. We can figure it out. Also, I'm stoked because I just saw these by the door. I placed this order on Revolve and everything came in. And when I tell you, like, I am so excited. We all know I get sucked into Instagram ads, okay? But this is one where I have seen it for so long and I was like, Alicia, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. And I'm not kidding. The past two months, I've been thinking about this ring and I finally was like, you know what? We're gonna do it. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Wait, it's so cute. So it's by this brand. They sell it on Revolve, but I kept getting the actual like ad for the brand on Instagram, especially because I've just been wearing more jewelry. I really want to start mixing metals because that's something my OCD has been like crazy about. Half the reason why I never liked wearing gold jewelry was because it means I had to take off all of my silver jewelry to put all gold jewelry on. And I'm like, Alicia, baby steps. Like, let's get used to mixing them. I feel like it's really pretty. So start mixing gold and silver. And then I got, <laughs> but this is the ring. It's a little clock. How stunning is this? My God. Wait, I am obsessed. The band's like stretchy. Oh my God, wait, I'm so excited. And you can actually set the time. Maybe you can see it better here. Ah! I'm not flipping you off, I promise. I love it. 
Okay, I'm fully obsessed. I do not regret this. And please make me feel a little better. Let me know the last Instagram ad uh, that sucked you in and the last thing you purchased from an Instagram ad because this was mine. But wait, there's more. Sorry, I feel like lighting is way better over here. Okay, so when I was in Italy, everyone wanted to go shopping and we were in the Gucci store and I saw this bracelet that I really, really, really liked, but I just couldn't justify it. I was like, I think it was like $600. Like it was stunning, it was gorgeous. But I was like, Alicia, just get a gold bracelet somewhere else on Etsy, Amazon, I don't know, somewhere cheaper. Like you don't need this one to be Gucci. Like, yes, it's gorgeous, but like you don't need it. So I found this one on Revolve and it was $90, which is still a lot, but I mean, compared to 600, this is a steal. And honestly, the Gucci one looked just like this. The only difference was it had like the Gucci logo sporadically in between. This one's a little magnet, which is really cute. Wait, oh, I love the fact that it's a magnet. So that's why I got this one. Honestly, great quality. Obviously I'm trying to start mixing metals. You'll start seeing me with gold and silver. I actually do like how it looks together. I used to hate it. I used to absolutely hate it. The last thing I got, actually, I think I'm most excited for these. These are Javiana sandals, okay? I saw these and I was like, need immediately. I have never seen flip-flops like this. So I was like, I need these. I will have them linked below for you. Javiana's, I'm not sure who designed these or who came up with these, but I think these are some of the best flip-flops I've seen in a long time. I couldn't decide for the life of me if I wanted the, it was like a nudie rose gold or the black. I went back and forth though for the longest time, but I ended up deciding on the black ones. They're literally normal, like rubber flip-flops, like rubber. But the top are these like, um, oh my God, I thought I was a spider. <gasps> oh my God, I a spider. Me using my new hobby. <laughs> um, anyways, the, top, the tops look like, <laughs> wow, let's take a second. That was a lot, Alicia. Anyways, back to these gems. The tops look like this. I love how even though they're just flip-flops, like they look so much more put together and fancy so you can still wear them to like nice lunches or dinners or something, but like more flip-flops. I low key might get the other color. Anyways, that is my little Revolve haul for you guys. Links in the description. Currently gonna interrupt the vlog because we have to give a shout out to Casetify for sponsoring this video. You guys know I absolutely love Casetify. They have my heart. Um, they are honestly awesome to work with. I have a collection in case you didn't know. I'll always have it linked in the description box. They just sent me these cases. Clearly I'm vibing with the neons. I think it's just because summer's here. In case you didn't know, Casetify has thousands of different customizable cases. As you can tell, you can not only pick the color, you can pick the design so I could get the clouds on the orange one. This one has my name right here. There's seriously so many ways you can customize it and have cute cases that also protect your phone. Also, their cases are made out of 65% recycled plant-based materials. And this cloud one that I chose is from their Impact Series case and it actually protects your phone up to an 11.5 drop test. So you can drop your phone and not worry at all about it, you know, breaking. Other than nasty fingerprints, um, she's great. So seriously, thank you so much to Caseify for always um, working with me. I love you guys. And seriously, if you're gonna buy a Caseify case, definitely use my link. It's www.caseify.com slash Alicia Marie for 15 percent off your entire order so link in the description anyways back to our regular scheduled programming <laughs> all right now that i have fully procrastinated um a lot i think i've been on my phone for like an hour woo love that for me but the celsius has kicked in and we are gonna work out i do have a hair appointment i need to touch up my hair because it is faded swimming in italy really faded it i feel like it doesn't look that faded on camera but like especially when you compare the top here to down here. It's like this versus this. So we're gonna get that touched up. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see Rem there cause she is at the hair salon later today too, which is gonna be fun, but gonna work out. I had to put on my story for you guys to hype me up. So thank you so much for those who replied. Um, please comment below in the comments to hype me up right now, even though I won't see this till after I have my workout done, but maybe, you know, just tell me to stop being lazy and get up and do it because my future self will thank me. Me trying to just like hype myself up right now. Boom, let's fucking go. I'm just gonna do the Peloton here to save a little time. Let's go. I personally don't love the classes. I would rather just do 45 minutes or an hour just riding plane. I don't know why I think I just like zoning out more. Like some people think this is really boring, but I love it. Also, this has been game changing. I got this the second I got my Peloton. I ordered this from Amazon and it's a phone tray. So you can actually like put your phone here and you can watch YouTube videos or shows or whatever because the Peloton doesn't come with it. And honestly, it is so inexpensive and it's a game changer. If you have an at-home cycle bike like this, absolutely must have. I'll have it linked below. If I can find the Amazon link, it was so inexpensive, but wish me luck. I'm gonna work out for an hour. Love you all, bye. All right, we killed the workout. My Postmates never came. <laughs>
<laughs> it said it was delivered, but it never came. Luckily, they gave me a refund, but I was like, damn it. I'm eating whatever I can because I need to leave in 10 minutes. Who's here? Hi. You look great. Thank you look so great. Much. Look at her mixing Thanks. it up. Is it's this for me or for Rem? It's not for it. For either. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> the hair is touched up. I'm like, should I get a new cleansing oil? I love this one. Oh my god, one. that's one of the it's best so cleansing good. oils I've ever had to use. I have so many cleansing bottles. The red is room. redding. Hello, honey. I seriously did not know how bad my hair needed this. Like I did, but I didn't. All right, we got the paint stuff out. And to be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing or what I'm wanting to do, but kind of just feeling creative and bored. The sun's going down any minute, so sorry if lighting is shit. To be honest, I think I kind of want to cover the entire thing with like a beige color and kind of start fresh. Cause I initially wanted this to be more of like a cement gray color and it turned into just a dark gray. I mixed up this little concoction. I think it needs like a dab of black. Wait, I actually love that. Okay. the next day. I need to see how my painting turned out. I'm here with Miss Sexy Lexi. Hello. And her twin, Mars. Hello. You guys are literally twinning. <laughs> no, we actually are. We decided that we were gonna have a cute little uh, shopping day, get some lunch, explore the town. Just kidding, but like literally. Also, Takaya sounds great too, but I'm definitely down for Air One. Definitely down. Also, it's popping on this Friday. Oh my God, I wanna go here. Let's go here after we eat. Oh my God, wait, this is so cute. Wait, you guys, it feels like summer. I saw like, it. it actually feels like summer. I, is that a ween? I literally like, is that a ween? <gasps> oh, she's Wait, so cute. It, it is long. No, stop. Just she's so pretty. <laughs> okay, we're headed to Air One. I want to try the Emma Chamberlain smoothie, even though I also want food food, so we're going to eat a lot. <laughs> Got the goods. What do we get, guys? The buffalo tuna. fresh cauliflower. Fre like fresh, fresh. I got a tuna collard green wrap. I think I'm genuinely the queen of always getting like way too much, but I really wanted this sushi plate. It looks like albacore with jalapeno on it. Oh, love. A salmon plate. And then they had these garlic noodles that look so freaking good. So we got salmon, buffalo cauliflower, and garlic nudes. Y'all know I love me some nudes. Oh my God, I can smell the buffalo. It does look so good. Oh yeah, have a bite. Oh my God, it's so fresh. It's actually so crunchy. Oh. Do you like that? So what kind of pot? Okay, this is seriously one of the cutest, I guess it's not a nursery, but plant store. I also suck at picking up plants, I've learned. <laughs> oh my God, I want it. Do I need this? No. Am I gonna get it? No, but this is stunning. I've never seen a table like this. The other place had like cute stuff, but I kind of got overwhelmed. So we're coming to this other one that's a little cheaper and I think we're gonna like it a lot. If not, we're about to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and pot it ourselves. <laughs> okay, we are headed to Wild Flora. Like I want all this in my house. We found stuff. Like We got not only a big plant, we got a little succulent thing and I'm just hoping I don't kill them. I decided I want to start swapping out all of my fake plants for real ones. I can't believe it's a money tree. I know, of course it would be a money tree. That's just good vibes. I, I just kept being like, I like this braided one. I didn't know it was a money tree. It is a good vibes. Talk about manifesting. Should we try to find a pot? Should I order one? Yeah, should we just go to the nursery real quick? Do you mind? Should we or drop these drop off and these then- Drop these off and go right over? And then- Get coffee. Get coffee or cold brew or something. Let's do it. You know, like, hey guys, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> we now made it to a nursery. <laughs> Remy, is this how you feel every day? I feel like such a. I'm like, oh, just gonna go. You're a garden fairy. 
I feel like a little garden fairy, right? I love this one. It's more gray. I like that a lot. Oh, there's another one in here. No wonder it's so heavy. <laughs> this is like the one. Oh yeah. I'm down to just get a few and try. How about we each pick a plant and I just have to get it. Hello everyone. We are so tired because we edited the vlog and we just want to say thank you so much for watching. Ooh, this filter is like kind of intense. The lips. Anyways, love you all. Thanks for watching.